and I wish to take this opportunity to welcome all of you uh, from Kenya, pastoralists, hunter-gatherer, fisher folks, women living with disability, as well as also adolescent girls, not even forgetting our continuous partners who have continuously supporting us, as well as also diplomatic missions, county government and national government, women leadership from diverse background. I take this opportunity to welcome you and telling you that our annual conference is going to be epic. today is trying to see what are the opportunities when you talk about indigenous women, young people trying to touch around issues on climate change, around issues on land and making sure that uh, their inclusion in those processes of decision making that women and young people occupy those spaces. We should. With the understanding of the indigenous women predicaments where they face economic injustices and a lack of access to financial services in the most remote uh, and marginalized locations, IWC has set to establish an investment pillar, the indigenous women investment circle, where indigenous women consulted their own resources in the spirit of being sustainable. Opportunities. Well, IWC has made significant progress. Much work remains to achieve human rights for all and gender inclusion. Future IWC efforts focus on several key areas. One, Indigenous Women Council of Africa. Registration as an entity which now a new baby in block and we hope this will give more, uh, will give hope for millions of women across Africa to join the movement and uh, increase Indigenous women visibility and collective voices at the African and international level. Youth in the house. We demand full inclusion in house climate change committees and in decision pertaining the county climate change fund. We demand for cultural, uh, culturally appropriate education and training programs for indigenous youth and women. We call for support in developing leadership and advocacy skills to empower indigenous women to participate effectively in decision-making processes. Nikiangalia back to Kianza 2006 mbaka wa leo, nigepeta kusema tumesonga sana. Tulianza, tukianza kungamano la wamama la kwanza, tulukuleta wamama 40. Tula tano, tukaweza kuhold regional conference in Nairobi, wenye tulileta wamama kutoka Afrika, but then COVID ikakuja. Na leo, nikona furao, tumeza kuleta wamama miata. 
tumeweza kuleta kutoka Tanzania, Uganda na wengi wenye wametoka Kenya katika zile kaunti zenye zilitajwa. From 2000 the president of the Republic of Kenya ameweza ku recognize hawa mama nane kutupatia head of state recommendation wenye wako wapi? Kwa ile kazi nzuri wamefanya. Tunasema we must continue to raise awareness on the plights of indigenous population in the country focusing on their marginalizations of the threats facing their culture, lands and livelihoods. We must also emphasize the importance of upholding the rights of indigenous people, including the right to self-determination, culture preservation and access to resources. And I would also like to take the moment to thank all the wonderful people who have helped us put together today's event. Our partners, present and not present in this room, we have na, nothing to thank you but saying asante ni sana for giving us the resources, believing in investing uh, in indigenous women and believing in us that we can also bring our energies, our resilience, our knowledge and put it to the world. Viva women, viva! Viva women, viva! I'm actually impressed to be here and when I got invitation from uh, my sister Jane Melwas, I said anything aside today I must stand with the indigenous women. And as I'm standing here we have a very important activity going on in the commission where we of course uh, uh, carry out hearings on disputes of land which where I sit in the commission as secretary to the commission and my presence in that commission is equally very important but I chose to be here this uh, day to ensure that uh, we support the call to strengthen the indigenous woman. I'm, I'm happy to report that His Excellency the President was with us last, uh, oh, I think it must be the second week, in uh, Baringo, Chamolingot, in Baringo, uh, where we handed over the first community land title. The first. We did, we launched a first natural resource atlas in the whole of Africa. We are looking forward to the day we will officially hand over to His Excellency the President. But I think this is one of the success stories which the current commission has done. My commissioners are also come, is almost coming to an end. But we're working around the corner to ensure that at least they have a legacy they could leave behind for the incoming team. So this one, uh, because culture and preservation of, uh, preservation of natural resources goes together, and the indigenous woman is the one who will preserve that natural resource. So I want to hand over to... Thank you. So this is in honor of the indigenous work which is being done by the indigenous women. Of course, uh, we've, as I've said earlier, uh, the culture and preservation of the natural resources goes together. The commission remains committed to work with indigenous women and youth of this country for a better tomorrow. Let us embark with this on this journey uh, of empowerment, enlightenment, and collaboration with enthusiasm and the shared vision for the brighter future of our indigenous women and youth. This is not just a gathering of minds, but a platform for empowerment, inspiration, and collaboration. It is an opportunity to build bridges of understanding amplifying indigenous women's voices and charting a path forward toward a more just, equitable, and sustainable future for all. So the more we secure our land ownership, we lead to better livelihoods. 
and the more the, uh, the, the director Miruas were able to hold on to this group when they were few. And now that we are here, we have grown up, there are more youth, vibrant ones. We should lead this group to a better one and take it to the grassroots where the indigenous women are and solve all the issues that are there. Thank you. Nikolo Mama work on solutions to the challenges that are facing. It is this time that we have to delocalize these solutions. Zikwe active sasa. Na viongozi yetu watu unge mkono wa mama wa shinani wako na suluhisho wa sante. Na kayu dana na mwono ndaye ntumana wangu wako tiene gariko nga hondo mwono kama mwono ndaye ajogi ande shirayi nipara kuna mkutano ni ya ya dodo kuma chinandi. Tua mea kuna haka yu waka na kuna ningu la mwono tene lenge no. Tua kana hondo kunukumu wake nkera na uwono ya ini. My name is Joy Nasirian Rol Monkoy. I work with Samburu uh, County Government of Samburu in the Department of Gender, Culture and Social Services as a Chief Officer. In this uh, conference, the recap for yesterday is that we have to stand up as women and take up our spaces. Uh, I've learned about issues on land, issues on gender-based violence, issues on uh, education, on women and women empowerment mostly because we know us as pastoralist women, we have been left out for long and now that we have come together to put our minds together, to give our views and also to ask, to ask for the government to amend policies so that it's going to suit the indigenous women and the indigenous community, especially on using you, you, issues concerning land, on issues concerning education and gender-based violence because our culture is really subjecting women to, uh, to gender-based violence. So I'm really happy because I've learned I have a lot to take back home, I have a lot to take to widows to be able to empower them and create awareness on issues matters women. When Laikipia County today with the indigenous women and youth actually uh, featuring out on issues of land and uh, policies making as well we want to actually ask for actually inclusion within the government policy amendments so we'll be able to actually be included as the indigenous uh, people so that we can also contribute on our uh, views concerning our lands. Purposes of clarity in this forum because we have many residents from Isiolo. Is there any single community that has registered or what's the actual status? No, at the moment, no. Okay. 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 Lakini we are very optimistic, at least with these five communities, it will be registered. I think that's the end of the north. So this community now moves to public land to community land. This massive registration going on. Now here to contribute to advocacy. Now that we are going to here. We know what's happening down there in Kilmo. Just briefly tell us uh, the situation. Thank you. Actually, right now, we, we are just waiting for the cassette notice because there's already an allocation for the community to be living there. Almost about between uh, 10 uh, to 20,000 acres and the community who have been living there. And uh, petition, actually, the National Land Commission including the government of Kenya are going to be resettled. The committee has already been set up and actually the, uh, the process is ongoing and it has been going smoothly and we are on track. And I think the next two in the next two, uh, two to six months, I'm very sure probably that process uh, will have uh, been completed. Will have uh, been completed. Yeah, my name is uh, Kama Ungogi. I'm the executive director of the National Coalition of Human Rights Defenders in Kenya, or the Defenders Coalition. We are happy to participate at the ninth uh, Indigenous Women uh, Conference, uh, which brings together uh, women that are really working under very hard circumstances to defend their right, uh, their right to land. Uh, their right to personal safety, as well as the, the right to, uh, to a safe and secure environment. Uh, as you know, uh, because of the uh, vocal nature of the work, uh, because first of all of confronting uh, traditional practices, and also uh, the fact that they are never given the chance to own land, it means that by the advocating for those kind of rights, then themselves become uh, part of the risks, they face a lot of risk. Na kama vile umeniomba ya kwamba mambo ya Kirimon, e, itahakikisha watu wagu wa padi, watu wa fugaji ya kina mama. Nigetaka jin e, kabla tukitoka hapa. Unipatia mwa kina mama 
kama wawili watatu waingie kwa hiyo task force ya kwa sababu na In reference to the above injustices experienced by indigenous people in Kenya, women and children have always suffered the most from these atrocities. It is in this regard that the Indigenous Women Council from 14 counties have unanimously come together and decided to make a declaration that seeks to address the above challenges. The following declar declarations have come from our discussions. These are the declarations made on 12th August today, 2024, at Nanyuki in Laikipia County, by indigenous women representatives from the 14 Asal counties. Due to the overwhelming pain experienced by indigenous women due to poverty, climate change, conflict, land tenure insecurity, and food insecurity, indigenous women have unanimously agreed to diversify their livelihoods through adopting and promoting alternative sources of livelihood to strengthen food security. <laughs> Thank you.